This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. I've never played a Rickenbacker before, but something came up, basically Keith from Five Watt World said, do you know anyone with a Rickenbacker because I'm doing a video? I said no. Um, and kind of we ran out of time and he said to me, right, can you get hold of that casino? So my buddy Gary has uh, this Epiphone John Lennon casino. And I was just saying to, to Gary, you know, I got asked if I, knew, if I knew anyone with a Rickenbacker and he said, I just sold one. And uh, I was like, what? He just sold one to Dez, who is the singer in the 60s band that I used to play in. Gary used to play guitar. Still does play guitar, sorry. Carnaby Street, based in Exeter, but play all around the UK. I used to play keyboard for that band. Really cool stuff. And uh, obviously, you know, this is the sort of guitar that uh, you'd have seen around the, the 60s for, for various bits and pieces. And kind of then had a bit of a resurgence around the kind of Britpop era, which, of course, kind of harked back to the... Uh, 60s as well in a lot of ways um so i said well can i come and pick one up so I, I picked it up from des i honestly had no idea really what to expect i don't know why but for some reason this kind of guitar has never really been something that i've even thought about having to go on and uh i guess i've been kind of closed-minded to it 
Um, but yeah, picked it up. So first of all, the neck is actually a lot more comfortable than um, I thought it might be. Uh, it's a little bit narrower this way than a strap, I think, the string uh, closeness. The frets seem to me to be quite small. And yeah, the positives of it, I was really taken aback by this kind of part here around the bridge where it's got these really cool kind of contours and stuff. Uh, it's quite lightweight. Um, and the color actually in person, I, I thought actually, yeah, that is doing a thing. It's really, really pretty um, different to anything that I've ever played before. Uh, it's got shallow tuners on it. Uh, these are single coils, I think. I think this is Caribbean rosewood. Um, but in general, it's just very different to anything I've ever played. For lead playing, it doesn't really seem to be uh, suited for, for the sort of stuff that I'm into. It does have 24 frets, which is a bit odd in some ways because I don't really think of this particularly as a lead guitar in a lot of ways. I think mainly what people might think of these for a rhythm guitar and for that sort of thing I think it's actually pretty fantastic um, are you going to think of things like Django with this the confusing thing about this guitar um, but luckily they got labels bass volume bass tone so this is the bass treble volume treble tone and then this other fifth part which sort of brings down the volume of the pickup the neck pickup I think <laughs> So volume is here, tone is here, so kind of backwards to how you might expect. It really does work quite nicely for which a lot of other electric type guitars don't really is that like the kind of strummy thing and if I use this I think I could dial in and out the bass pickups if I dial this all the way up. It kind of brings my kind of focus more towards the bridge. There's kind of a, a bit of a sticky feeling. I don't know if you can tell, but there's sort of a, a glossed finish to the, the fretboard, sort of like on the, the side guitars, which... So yeah, it doesn't really like... 
the vibrato doesn't feel quite right on it. So it, to me, it seems like lead playing is less of an option unless I was doing things which don't really have bend so much just because it feels quite sticky underneath the fingers. Um, but the Kind of getting some noises and stuff if you touch the pickup. I think that might be some of the best kind of rhythm tones that I can think of, such a, a jangly, vibrant tone, just plugged straight there into a Fender Pro Reverb. For that stuff, I feel like this is a, a real thing. And although I'm not loving the feel of playing like lead on it, I definitely think there's such a cool tone to it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, something that's kind of surprised me about that. Um, again, doesn't feel great for lead playing, but for rhythm playing, that's a real thing.